As a leading global food company working at the intersection of food security and climate, food waste and loss is a significant issue that we, like many others, are working hard to address. The issue is that over a third of all food produced is lost before it's consumed. We don't have the natural resources, the agricultural capabilities, nor the time from a climate standpoint to allow that to continue. So as a Kellogg company, we're working on this in three different areas. We're working on post-harvest loss reduction, we're working on reducing food waste within our own operations, and we're working on ensuring that the food that is made reaches those who need it most. So let me just tell you a little bit more about how we're doing those things to help address food loss and waste. At the post-harvest loss issue, many farms, particularly in emerging markets, have strong yields. We work to improve practices with farmers so that they can increase those yields. But oftentimes, it's after they've harvested their food on the way to market when they lose most of what that yield means, which means they're still not earning the money and improving their livelihoods, and that food is not reaching those who need it most. So we have examples of helping to use solar dryers on rice in the Philippines, improved cold storage for potatoes in Bangladesh for the potatoes that go into our Pringles, and numerous other examples where we've reached into understood what are the challenges that these farmers and that agricultural infrastructure is facing the most, and what can we do to convene resources to improve those and preserve the food that is produced. The second area that we're working on is food in our own operations. We have been reducing loss across our total operations significantly. We reduced loss of waste, excuse me, we've reduced food, uh, waste in our own operations by 65% from 2005 to 2015. We've ensured that almost all of our food lost goes to animal feed or is extracted and goes to those in need, which I'll talk about in just a moment. But we realize there's more that we can do. We helped to pilot the WRI food waste protocol last year, which gave us a much more granular view on the ways that we need to capture data on food waste in our own operations. So 2016 will become the baseline for us tracking all seven of those elements of food waste so that we can have a new baseline that we'll report out at the end of 2016 to understand how can we continue to make improvements in our own operations. And finally, we're working very hard to address the issues of hunger. Again, like I said, making sure that food that is safe for human consumption goes to those who need it most. We've donated over 1. billion servings of food from the last four years. We've restated that commitment to contribute even more. We're helping to ensure that the food banking systems are robust in all markets. We help to create them in many markets where they didn't exist before, including South Africa and other countries. And we're helping to make sure that food gets to students in particular. Kids who don't have good breakfast and good food can't learn. And so we've helped to address at a policy level and at a school feeding program level how the food that is available gets to those who needs it most, particularly kids. So by working across the spectrum of food waste and loss, Kellogg is committed to having a true impact and executing real change to help address and reduce these issues.